Well, this is pretty much a wrap for another week. This past week has almost been uh, totally uh, a playing gel coat and sanding it off. A playing gel coat and sanding it off. So uh, in the end there, I've got uh, six layers applied now. And this is uh, pretty much the, the finish for it. It's uh, far from a, a perfect uh, finish, but it's, uh, it's a finish I can live with. Apart from uh, gel coating the hole this week, I did attend to uh, one other task, uh, which was uh, making the port and starboard uh, quarter seats. So uh, next week, after our clips are over, that'll be uh, one of the things I'll be uh, finishing up. So if you want to see how she got through this stage, uh, just uh, stay tuned and uh, watch the upcoming video. Well, I test fitted the, the center board uh, last week and they seem to work okay. And then uh, since then I put the one more layer of uh, mat on and Joe coated it and he started to bind. So I had to take it out and, uh, and sand off the, the Joe coat and a little bit the, little bit of the mat besides to bring it down a little bit thinner. And hopefully now when I put a, a new layer of uh, Joe coat on him, he should be uh, he should be okay. I was worried about the, the fact that he might be uh, loose enough that he'd uh, cause a bit of chatter when she was sailing. Uh, it's not any more annoying than that. So that's why I put the extra layer of mat on, but uh, right now I'm starting to regret that. Well, I gave you a little bit of a sneak peek there uh, last week on uh, how far the centerboard uh, extended down beyond the bottom. Well, this is a, a little better look now. He uh, extends down uh, 9 inches. I'm thinking that uh, 9 inches by uh, 24 would be uh, a big enough surface area for the centerboard. But uh, after using the boat, that uh, if I feel that she needs uh, more centerboard area, that uh, I can lower the centerboard uh, quite a bit, possibly uh, four inches more. And of course, there's always the other option of uh, making a new uh, centerboard that's uh, deeper. These are the last two panels. They're the port and starboard quarter seats. I didn't record uh, laying them up, but uh, tomorrow morning when I uh, release them from the plastic, I'll record that because I find the process of releasing them uh, strangely rewarding. You never know if they're going to come away clean or if it's going to be a struggle to get them clear. Well, she's put them up again. Next time my flips are over, she'll be uh, sporting her new colors. When you're working on a project like this, and it's on a part-time basis, uh, it takes a long time, and you sometimes lose uh, sight of the finished product. But now that I'm at the stage where I'm ready to start putting the gel coat on, the end of the project is starting to come in sight.
in case you're uh, wondering why I'm applying the, the green gel coat with a brush, I applied the white coat with a roller. And before I start applying this coat, uh, I noticed that there was uh, a lot of small pinholes in the white gel coat. Uh, that don't seem to happen when uh, you're putting another layer of gel coat on top of an existing layer. But uh, I think what happened was uh, putting the, the white the gel coat on top of the polyfair. The polyfair seems to be a, a little bit porous. And I did have the white gel coat thinned down quite a bit with styrene because I wanted a good penetration. So just to make sure the pinholes got filled in, I decided to put this layer on with a brush. Well, that's the first two coats on her. But this will not be the final shade of green. I put a white coat on underneath the first green coat just as an indicator so I'll be able to, to see where the green has been uh, sanded through. As I continue to work through the improvement of the, the finish on the hull, I'll alternate between uh, light colors and dark colors so that I'll be able to see where I've sanded through the high spots. Now I don't expect to get a finish that I would get if she came out of a mold. I'm just looking for a finish that I can live with. Well this represents uh, 45 minutes per side of a uh, very dusty sanding. Well, for layer number three, I got a little higher ratio of uh, yellow to uh, blue, and I threw in a little splash of white as well. Well, for this fourth layer, I uh, added a little more yellow and a little more white, just to change the tint a little. And now tomorrow morning, back to more sanding. Well, after another messy episode of uh, sanding, which I saw no need to record, she's ready for another application of gel coat. And I must say, this hall sanding is really starting to get old. Well, this is layer number five, and this is our final color. I will be adding another layer of uh, gel coat, but I'm not going to do a, a complete hull sanding this time before I put the last coat on. There are still a few areas that I'm not completely satisfied with yet, so I'll sand those areas and put the last layer on, which will be a total of six layers. Well, as you can see, I did a little more extensive sanding than uh, I than I'd intended. I figured since this was my uh, last go with the sander, I might as well put a little bit of extra effort into it. Certainly couldn't go to waste. For the bottom, I just uh, scuffed it up a bit with uh, some hand sanding, just to make sure that the last couple of layers of uh, gel coat will uh, go on and adhere a little bit better. So the last two layers to go on now will be uh, uh, numbers uh, 6 and 7. Well 
Well, I said from the beginning that this was built as a green dinghy project. She won't be using any fossil fuels. And no, I'm not a tree hugger. But she'll be powered with uh, paddles, a sail, and electric trolling motor, which will be charged with uh, solar panels. So hence, the green dinghy. Colors readily available uh, wasn't the shade of green I was looking for. So in the end, I bought a blue gel coat and a yellow gel coat. And I figured I could mix them together and uh, get my own shade of green. 